Sometimes, usual things contain weird attributes. Why do jeans pockets have tiny buttons on them? Why do hats have pom-poms? Why do books have margins? Why do donuts have holes? In this video, we'll reveal secrets of regular objects you didn't know. The cold time of the year isn't the best for walking. My face goes numb with cold. And here's my friend running. She looks so happy. Sure she does, cause she's got a fur trimmed hood. Fur helps keep your face warm. That's why walking with such a hood on is in a way more comfortable. And I have to manage with my hat and my hair. We want to drink coffee for warming up. We take two cups to go. My friend is trying to rip off a piece of the lid. Why is she doing it this way? You don't need to rip off a flap of a plastic lid. All you need to do is to bend it to the center and attach it in a special indentation. I show this easy method of dealing with a flap to my friend. Now she'll know how to treat usual things easily. Watch and learn. I close my resonance with a padlock, and I know it can resist any weather conditions. The holes in a padlock let water drain out of the lock if it rains or snows outdoors. It won't rust in the rain or freeze and break in the winter. Just pour the water out of the padlock through the holes. And I always wondered why padlocks have those holes. I'm going hiking with my friend. It's great I have all the needed equipment. And I have finally figured out why I need this leather patch on my backpack. Pull a hiking rope through the hole in a leather patch. Tie a knot to attach it. I can even conquer Everest with this hiking rope supply and hang out the laundry there. What a day! I slipped and hit my hand. Sometimes it seems that everything is against me. Thank God I can protect my head with the help of a pom-pom hat. Sew a soft pom-pom to a knitted hat. It protects from hits. French Marines invented a sailor hat with a bobble on the top to prevent themselves from hurting their heads on the low cabin ceilings. I don't wear a pom-pom hat at sea, but it protects and softens any head blows on shore. Has your box cutter or utility knife gone blunt? It's high time to break off the end of the blade. The only question is how to do it safely. Should we use pliers? Nope, it's a bad idea. What if we try a hammer? Oops, we can break the table, but not the blade. Watch how to do it properly. Take the back cap off. Slide the blade out of the back end and use the cap to snap off the blunt end of the blade. Give yourself a fresh, sharp blade whenever you want. It turns out that the solution has been in the knife itself the whole time. A one-person Italian party is coming up. Pasta is on the menu. But how much spaghetti do I need for one person? A pasta spoon will help me measure the exact amount. Put uncooked spaghetti into the hole of your pasta spoon. The hole is just about the size of one person's portion of spaghetti. Put spaghetti into boiling water and take it out when it's ready with the same spoon. You get exactly one serving. Ciao, pasta! Chewing on the pen cap is a bad habit. It's a good thing that the manufacturers took care of our safety. Take a close look at the pen cap. A hole on the top lets the air go through it. And even if a person swallows a cap by accident, it'll lower the risk of suffocation. Moreover, the cap can become an entertainment for a boring day. You can blow out tiny crumbs or blow at the ceiling. It's five o'clock, it's time to have tea. I take a tea bag, tear it out, and pour the contents into a cup. It comes as a surprise to my friend. She doesn't know the origin of a tea bag. A tea bag was formerly used only for packaging. In order to make the trade more lucrative, some merchant packed tea leaves into little silk bags. And the bag should have been opened before brewing. But the merchant's client took it a step further. They realized that they can brew the tea right in the bags. The tea bags proved to be not only nice, but practical. And we can't even imagine our modern lives without this accidental invention. I've got a lot of tools to open a new tube of ointment. A screwdriver, an awl, scissors, magic spells, but nothing helps. My friend knows a trick. She opens a tube with its own cap. Open a tube with protective foil. There's a little spike on the cap. Unscrew the lid, flip it around, and push it in. It's so easy. Now it takes less than a second to open a new ointment. No need to rack your brains about it. 
I am writing secret messages with my friend. I'm writing with a pencil that is easy to erase with an eraser, but my friend's drawing a heart with a pen. It seems like the heart needs some fixing up. I offer my eraser to her. Does it really erase ink? Yes, if you use the proper side. Take an eraser and erase pen ink with its dark side. Oh, if only you could remove everything out of your heart as easily as the ink. I need to make a bookmark for my notes, but all the stickers are pointing up, stretching somewhere towards the sky. However, I know the way to win this paper rebel. Tear off a sticker, not from below, but from the side to prevent its bending up. In this way, you will be able to make straight bookmarks for your books and writings. As a result, you can tame rebellious stickers and make smooth and straight notes. My friends had a fight with their stapler again. It always joins the paper the wrong way. But I know a secret. Fasten paper sheets as usual using a stapler. The ends of the stapler are bent inward. And now, a little trick. Press a button underneath to turn over the anvil so that it crimps the staples another way. Staple the paper. Now, the ends of the staple are turned outwards. This is a temporary attachment, letting the removal of the staples be easier. I share the hack with my friend. I hope she'll manage to deal with this practical tool. We have written, we have written. Our notebooks are mice bitten. Thank God they've bitten off only margins. Books and notebooks margins were invented not to make notes or mark mistakes. Initially, they were invented to save the text. The edges of the pages might have gotten dirty or damaged, and very often paper used to be a meal for rats and mice. Rodents could have easily gnawed on paper edges. Books left space around the text block so that the rats didn't eat important information. It's a mystery of how mice appeared in the class, but my notes are safe and sound, and this is the main thing. I would take the first place in a speed typing contest because I can type without looking down at the keyboard. The little bumps on the F and J keys on a keyboard serve as orientation in 10-finger typing. Feel the bumps with your index fingers and rest your other fingers on the nearby buttons. I can Google as fast as I comment on videos on YouTube. It's as easy as ABC and no peeping at the keyboard. Who wants some sweet cherries? Except that pits spoil all the cherry joy. It's a good thing that I have a garlic press. What do cherries and garlic have in common? Let's find out. Put a cherry with a pit into a hole of a garlic press handle. Press it up. Now take the cherry out. A pit is left in the garlic press and you can easily eat your cherry. A garlic press, one device, and so many possibilities. The sound of sizzling food on a pan is so satisfying. But what should I do with a messy cooking spoon or fork to avoid staining the table with oil? I know a hack. While frying, put a cooking spoon, fork, or spatula into a hole in the pan handle. As a result, it will be within easy reach and your donuts won't burn. By the way, talking of donuts, I've always wondered why it has a hole. Is it somehow connected with a bagel's hole? A hole in a donut is its cooking uniqueness. It is made on purpose so that a donut gets cooked evenly along the edges and in the middle. My donut is perfect. Mmm, yummy. I am a jack of all trades. I can fix a bicycle with my eyes closed. And my favorite work uniform is jeans for sure. In fact, they were created as workwear. Copper rivets on jeans initially served to secure the pocket so that they wouldn't rip off when workers put their heavy tools inside. Yep. Lip gloss is also a tool, a beauty tool. It matches my yellow screwdriver. I can put as many tools as the pockets can fit. The studs can hold even that heavy stuff. And a tiny pocket was created to put a pocket watch in. Very handy, the right size. Let's have a bite of noodles. As a perfect hostess, I'm going to place the noodle into a bowl. But my friend knows a life hack. Open a noodle carton from the sides and turn it into a big cardboard plate. And the best thing about it is that there are no dishes to wash. I like dancing with my vacuum cleaner. I can imagine myself starring in a music video. Oh, it seems that the vacuum cleaner sucked up my blanket. I should act immediately. Open a flap on a vacuum cleaner handle. This way you can adjust the force of suction. It comes in handy when vacuuming different surfaces or fabrics. It's been a short fight. The danger has passed away and I can keep on vacuum cleaning and dancing. I want to break free. 
Did you learn something new about everyday things? Write in your comments what amazed you the most. And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell. It will ring when a new video on the Troom Troom channel comes out.